Maxwell, center point, Lepisto with a wrist shot, gloved in by Joey McDonald, who holds on with 16 minutes and 53 seconds left to play. And now Kempers are flaring by the far post side of the bridge court goal. As you have Brennan going after Robitaille, Robitaille agitating again. Brennan continuing to jaw at Louis Robitaille, and one of the Hershey players has to be restrained. Maxwell who drops the gloves with Spiller. Spiller pounding away on Maxwell right now. Now they haul. Maxwell comes on the right. Uh, Spiller with another one, and another one, and another one to the back of Maxwell's head. Maxwell overmatched here seemingly by Spiller who gets a partial takedown. The linesmen look to separate. Maxwell gets a couple shots in as uh, Spiller was being restrained by a linesman. But uh, Matt Spiller getting the better seemingly of Maxwell on that one. Although Maxwell, you know, a young guy at 6'2 and 200 pounds looking to hold his own. Meanwhile, Brennan and Robitaille. As Robitaille gets a face wash from Brennan, the linesmen were ignoring those two. They continue to jabber. And it looks like Brennan and Robitaille may be going to the box here. Brennan gives another swipe to the face of Robitaille and then hits Fata. He kind of gave Fata a little shove. Fata just stood there and didn't do anything. Brennan now looks like he's about to drop the right glove. The left glove was on the ice. Brennan's going to go to the box here with 16.53 to play in the second. And we've got a variety of penalties coming up here. Well, the fans getting on Kip Brennan. Robitaille finally makes his entrance to the box. So penalties a plenty coming here at 3.07 of the second period. 